after what seems like a never-ending wait for a sensational new two-seat Jaguar sports car, this is it. This is the CX-16. And here is Ian Callum, the man responsible for leading the team who's designed this absolute masterpiece. So tell me, Ian, what were you looking to create with this car? Well, we wanted something that was exciting. It's a little selfish, it's a two-seater, but when you go back in history, two-seater Jags are absolutely the centre of the brand, and we wanted to capture something at the centre of the brand. I think this car does it. A lot of people, obviously, including myself, have to put the reference of E-Type in, because clearly that was the car that put Jaguar right to the very top. Are you hoping it captures the imagination in the same way that the E-Type did? I hope it captures some of the ethos of the E-Type. The E-Type is a magnificent car. I grew up with it. It inspired me. But you're right, we're not trying to capture an E-Type as a whole. That would be too difficult. The days were different then. This is a 21st century two-seater sports car. Time will tell whether it captures that iconic value. For the moment, I want people just to love it. Well, the side profile has a, a classic, uh, what we call a Coke bottle line. It, it runs over the front wheel and then slages up again over the rear wheel. It is a classic line, but we reinterpret it in a very modern way. And it's very Jaguar. As we come around the front of the car, you will see a new face. This new face, really, you'll remember, you probably saw some of it in CX-75, the, the supercar we built. But also, really, it's a, a variation on the XF and the XJ. We've now got a common face to Jaguar, albeit the proportions are slightly different. So it's a brave move to make to get away from the traditional oval shape that we have in XK and, of course, the old E-Type. But I think it's a much stronger shape. It gives the car presence. And I was very keen that we had some drama in the line of the car. Now, these headlamps sweep up over the, the front wing and they follow the line of the wing. So they almost emphasize the shape of the car in many ways. Well, the one thing we want this car is a dramatic profile, a dramatic silhouette. So rather than bringing the roof line down and giving it a little tail in it, we brought it right to the very back of the car. And that's extremely unambiguous. That's one single line. Yes, the E-Type did a little of that as well, but that doesn't matter. The fact is it looks right in this car and it's very sharp and everything almost brings to a point at the back of the car, very conclusive. At Django, we work very hard to get the proportions right and this really is about drama. It's a drama of silhouette, it's a drama of stance. We work very hard to get this great stance. And when you see the back of this car and the way everything tapers in towards the tail, it is so Django. We want younger people, younger minded people, let's say, to want to buy this car and I'm sure we'll bring them in from other brands. And we, we need these people to start joining Jaguar again the way they used to when we were younger. So uh, I think this car's gonna do it.